So the app that captured the imagination of millions of puzzle fans, let's talk about that now, is being sold or has been sold to the New York Times. It's, of course, Wordle, a simple idea, working out a word through sheer logic and a little bit of luck. So why has it gone down such a storm? Let's find out with somebody who is a word guru and lexicographer, Susie Dent. It's great to see you again, Susie. Thank you for joining us on the programme this morning. morning. Why is it such a hit? Lots of reasons, I think, Kay. But um, first and foremost, I think it's the comfort factor. You know, and uh, let's face it, uh, the world around us is slightly messy at the moment. I think we can just find a little oasis in a really simple, joyful word game. Its rules are very simple. Uh, we have set the same challenge uh, as everybody right across the world every day. And there's only one. We're rationed to want. So I think it's teaching us a level of patience that, you know, hasn't been required of us really for, for years because... There are so many apps out there, obviously, that, that offer endless plays of things. So I think it's really special from that point of view. What are your top tips? <laughs> well, I know people assume that I'm going to be a real strategist about this. And there are a lot of people who try and work out algorithms and things. But to be honest, I just um, dive straight in. There's probably a little bit of, um, uh, of kind of, I don't know, bargaining, I suppose, on my part in that I will go with one of the most frequently used letters, E, always, because that's at the top of the list. Um, I often start with noise because that includes some of the most frequently used letters as well. Um, so you can, if you like, approach it from that point of view. But for me, the kind of the real pleasure is in the process of elimination and that code breaking exercise that comes after. So, uh, you know, there's no time pressure as well. You can ponder it all day, if you like, um, as long as you obey the golden rule and do not put any spoilers on Twitter or social media, because that can genuinely ruin someone's day. Yeah, it's not fair. I always start with adieu because it's got quite a lot of vowels yes. apart from O in there, hasn't it? It's a, yes. It reminds me of master. You won't remember Mastermind, but when you, you used to have to play with, you're not old enough. Don't be ridiculous. No, with I, the little I, pegs. Yes, it's exactly like that. It, as I say, it's a process of elimination, and and uh, I just love the fact that we're all doing the same thing. Um, and you know, I can't. I think none of us could begrudge. Josh Wardle for um, wanting a reward from this. And also, I think from his statement and from everything he said so far, you know, it seems like it was almost becoming too much for him. It's not something he, he expected. Um, and to be fair, the New York Times also has real pedigree when it comes to um, word games. Obviously, it has its crossword um, as well, which is very famous. So, you know, hopefully, uh, they say that it will initially be free. Hopefully, that initial period will, uh, you know, will be a long one and we can all keep enjoying it. Yeah, as much as almost do. as popular almost as popular as your word of the day on twitter what's the word today i haven't decided yet actually quite often they are quite self-referential um i i know that uh, i often bounce off topical events as well but um yes i think um i've done wordle for today that's my first challenge and um i will let everything else percolate and then have a think about what i'm going to post today looking forward to it thank you